Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are doing my October skincare and beauty empties. Um, it's the day before Halloween so I've got my very scary Halloween t-shirt on. And I've also got some cat ears on so, you know, just, we're just embracing it. We're going with it this year. Um, in these kind of videos, if you've not seen these videos before, I basically go through all the skincare, beauty, makeup products that I've used in the past month. And I'll let you know what I thought of them, whether I'd repurchase them and whether I like them or not basically. Now I usually don't see them at all, I keep them off camera, um, but because I've been filming so many advent calendar unboxings I've kind of got this little setup here so I just thought I would put the tray down here so you can actually see all the products anyway. Um, it seems like forever since I've actually done one of these videos and I think it's just because I've been posting so many things with advent calendar unboxings and other beauty boxes and stuff so it just seems like forever ago that I last did one of these. Um, and to be honest there aren't that many products this month. I think because I'm using more full sizes at the moment it's just taking a little bit longer to get through them. Uh, which is fine and just as a disclaimer obviously I do receive lots of beauty boxes I do have a lot of advent calendars as well and um, so a lot of the products that I do usually get through are miniatures which is not great for the environment you know it's using more plastic packaging um, than if you just bought the full size one so yeah it's not great but I always try to finish a product as well unless it just doesn't agree with me like if my skin just doesn't go on with it then I definitely don't finish it um, but other than that if it's just okay I will still use it because I don't like to waste any products and wherever I do receive products in beauty boxes or advent calendars that aren't for me um, I do try and give them to someone who will make use of them so there's definitely nothing going to waste and with all these empty packages as well when I finish filming this they do all get recycled as well as much as I can um, I do separate them and everything and just try and recycle them. Try to do my bit for the environment uh, whilst also giving you some beauty reviews. So a couple of these products might have been gifted in beauty boxes because I do get some beauty boxes gifted to me and advent calendars. So some of them might be gifted. Others I've bought in beauty boxes in advent calendars I've just acquired over the months. So yeah, and I think that's everything. So if you do like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. This is a one-off. These aren't going to be making a reappearance. <laughs> it's just for today because it's before Halloween and uh, I thought why not this is what I'm wearing anyway so I'll just stay like this you know okay so let's dive into it then now I'm gonna start off with face masks this month because they're kind of propped up um I'll actually show you them all first this is everything that I've used this month as you can see I'm using this bottle to try and hold up the face masks from falling over so yes yeah, so I'm gonna start with the face masks it's quite a few I kind of went on a little face mask frenzy and that actually isn't a face mask let's start with this this is um, this is a coconut black tea body scrub by the brand Delicious. Uh, coconut tea for you exfoliating glow. So this, this was a gift in PR. Uh, I received a couple of these different packages. This was quite a lot of product. There was 100 grams in here and it, it was basically like a coffee scrub, but it's not coffee, it was tea. Um, and it had coconut bits in as well. So I honestly didn't really like this that much. Um, I did obviously finish it all. It's all completely gone. There's nothing left in it. Like I said, I always use my products up. Um, but yeah, I think I just definitely prefer a coffee scrub rather than tea because it just smells a bit strange. Um, the coconut in it um, and any other ingredients made my skin feel so soft after using it. Um, so I like, stepped out of the bath and my skin felt really nice, but I think it was just the smell for me. I just prefer a coffee scrub, I think. So yeah, I think I'd probably go for that instead next time. But it was good to try this because I've definitely not tried a tea one before. But yeah, I think coffee going forward. And then I think these are all face masks. Okay, so let's start with Beauty Pro. So from Beauty Pro, I've got the Brightening Sheet Mask with Collagen, Vitamin C and Aloe Vera. Um, I really like this one. I really like all of the ones from Beauty Pro, really. Um, so we've got quite a few from Beauty Pro this month. So the other ones from Beauty Pro, we've got the Hyaluronic Acid Gold Foil Mask. That was in an advent calendar for this year, so I can't tell you where that came from because... I don't want to spoil it for anyone if you're not wanting to know what's inside them. We've also got the Nourishing Collagen Mask and the Rejuvenating Sheet Mask. And honestly, apart from the gold one, I can't really tell much of a difference between these three. Um, I mean, I'm guessing if you use them over time, they will you will see a difference. Um, but for me, I just feel like they're all very nourishing. They make my skin feel really soft, really hydrated and they just give it a bit of a boost. I don't really know how to describe it. I mean, they all contain collagen, the nourishing one's got olive oil and rose in, brightening is vitamin C and aloe vera, and the rejuvenating is seaweed and green tea. I just feel like they all just work so well on my skin, and it just feels amazing afterwards. So, yeah, I really do like having these in. They're just a really good go-to sheet mask. Uh, this one is a little bit different. So this is actually a gold foil mask, so as you put it on, it looks like gold foil and it just helps to retain the heat from your skin uh, which helps the ingredients penetrate the skin better. Um, so this contains hyaluronic acid, Q10 and soybean. Um, this is 
by anti-aging it's focused on anti-aging uh this is probably my favorite i do feel like my skin i don't know reacts better to this one like it actually does more than those other ones um so i think this one is definitely my favorite um but yeah i really like beauty pro sheet masks um always a good go-to and then my favorite brand for sheet mask i mean is it my favorite brand i have so many beauty pro vita masks and patchology are fab but then this arborian skincare they sent me a couple of masks a while ago um, and i got around to using this one this is the glow shot mask look at that glow so this is arborian which is korean skincare these are amazing and they leave just like a nice glowy finish on your skin um, so like after I put this on, I could literally go out and my skin would look amazing. Um, I don't, obviously I put these on at night time. Um, but if you want me to, you can. Um, this is so nice on the skin. I don't know what it is with Arborian, whether it's just because it's Korean skincare, but the, the ingredients in the products and the serums, they just make my skin feel amazing. Um, make it look really plump. It just kind of, it looks tighter as well. I would definitely recommend this one. The other one is the Ginseng one that I've tried and that is amazing as well. Um, so yeah, I love that one so much. Oh, I've also got from Beauty Pro, we've got the Retinol Under Eye Patch. I love the Under Eye Patches. Um, these are brand new. The eye patches are usually like um, a dark blue packet. And then they brought out this one, which is Retinol. So yeah, with Retinol, I always like to use Retinol on, well, all over my face. But um, Retinol eye products especially, just to keep these like fine lines at bay. Um, as I'm getting older, um, so having retinol in an eye patch is just fab. You don't see results immediately, but I think this is something that if you carry on using it, there'll be results. So yes, love that. And then next we've got Avita masks. Ooh, that's still got serum in it. This is the pearl sheet mask. I'm not going to tip it up because it's going to pour serum out. This was in the glossy box for September. They're like pure relaxation one, I think it was called. Uh, this was so nice. I absolutely love this. Yeah, it says brightening. It was definitely like nourishing. I'd say my, my skin felt brighter afterwards. I don't know if it was massively noticeable, um, but yeah, it did feel great afterwards. But yeah, really like this brand anyway, so yeah. And those are actually all the sheet masks. The, the final thing here is actually, this is a little thing that I got in the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. I think it was June or July. Star Skin VIP 7 Second Luxury All Day Mask. 7 in 1 Miracle Skin Mask Pad. So that's what it looks like. So it's basically this little like circular it's basically like a i'd describe it as like a cotton pad that's like drenched in serum uh one side feels softer the other side feels a little bit textured um and you basically put two fingers in and use it like this so you do one side first and then you turn it over and use the other side um it's meant to massage exfoliate tone serum moisturize mask and makeup primer in one I didn't really like it, I didn't think it did that. Like, it just felt like it was a serum, kind of, like a kind of moisturising serum, but I still feel like I needed my moisturiser after it, so I don't feel like it did the moisturiser, mask, makeup, primer, exfoliate. Yeah, just didn't feel like it did all that. Definitely wouldn't buy this one again. It was nice to try though, you know, it's always nice to try new things like this, but that just wasn't for me. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Uh, with regards to the masks, Beauty Pro, I'll always rebuy. Vita masks, again, always rebuy. Arborian, always rebuy. Uh, my favourite is definitely a boring though. 10 out of 10 for that one. Um, and the others are all kind of equal. Okay, moving on now. So let's go on to... Okay, let's do hair next. So first up, we've got a shampoo from Colour Wow. This is the Colour Security Shampoo. 100% clean, residue free. This is fab. Like, if you watch my hair video that I did about a year ago now, I explained in that what products I used to grow my hair to keep it strong, to keep it healthy, to keep it looking nice and blonde. And I explained that I use the same few shampoos like all the time. Um, and then I received uh, a box from Cohorted, which was just these products. So I gave them a go. I would like to try new products and it's so good. I then got another box from Look Fantastic, uh, which was in collaboration with Rosie Connolly. And it was just these products were miniature, so I used them again, all of them. So then when Look Fantastic had a 50% offer on, the shampoo was in it so I managed to pick up a couple of these um so it was about 750 I want to say with 50% off so yeah I picked these up I love these so much I just think they clean your hair really nicely like it doesn't feel greasy afterwards it feels so so clean um but it's like these whole products these color wear products are meant to protect your color keep it looking fresh and looking blonde or whatever color you're dyeing your hair um, and I feel like it really does that. I feel like, like, I've not had my blonde put in now since, I think I had it done in March. And, like, I don't feel like it's gone brassy. I feel like it's still, like, a nice ashy blonde, I'd say. Which is what I go for. So I feel like my colour has kept really nicely. And I think a lot of it is down to the shampoo that I'm using. 
uh, and other products as well but yeah so i really like this my hair feels so so clean after using it and i just feel like it does protect my color so definitely will be rebuying this um i like to just buy it when it's on offer because why not save some money i'm basically getting two two bottles for the price of one um i've already got one of these that i can use after this one i'm currently trialing that monday hair care shampoo uh, which was in an asos box and i'm really liking that one as well so far so Maybe I'm expanding my shampoo horizons, but yeah, definitely recommend this brand if you've got coloured hair. They also do the conditioner as well, which is fab. And they've also got like a pre-shampoo kind of spray, which is meant to remove all the minerals from your hair and just keep your colour looking really bright. So I use that occasionally. I think that's really good. It's definitely brightened it up, I think, when I've tried it. But yeah, that's not empty yet, so I won't talk about that one just yet. But yeah, definitely recommend this one. Love this product. Next, we've got this mini conditioner from Hairburst. It says for longer, stronger hair. This was in an ASOS box. I love this. Like, Hairburst is one of those brands that I've wanted to try because they always just look so good, like, on social media and just in general. The products, I mean, the bright pink, they're so cute. But I'm thinking, is it just a bit gimmicky? I don't know. Uh, and then I tried this. It smells so nice. Love it. It's, like, very, like, coconutty. It's avocado and coconut. Mmm, smells really nice. Um, love this. It made my hair feel really soft. Um, I like conditions where you put them in. I only put conditioner from, like, here downwards. Um, when I'm in the shower and then I like to be able to run my fingers through it to make sure you know it's all in uh, it's all conditioned and yeah I could do that with this it's not amazing uh, it wasn't greasy like after I'd dried my hair or anything my hair just looked clean smelt fab and yeah it was easy to brush afterwards so yeah really like this uh, this is a miniature that was in the box so if there was a full size one available I would definitely pick this up really like this one and then next hair product is this from Lee Stafford, this is the Cactus Crush Thirst Aid Moisturising Lotion. A super juicy and succulent blend of cactus, wild lime and Kalahari melon oil. Helps rescue and repair damaged hair with heat protection. So, once I've towel dried my hair, I always apply something like this, a creamy product and then also like a heat protector spray. And this was just the one that was in my drawer next. So this was what I was using as the cream. I would definitely get this one again. This it's Lee Stafford, so like Lee Stafford products, they always smell amazing. They always seem so good with my hair. The spray that I'm using at the moment is the Lee Stafford 10 in 1 treatment spray. That's almost empty, but that's going to be in next month now. I absolutely love Lee Stafford products. They just work so well on my hair. Um, it protects it. You know that it's doing its job, and I just feel like it just, it just works. So, yeah. Definitely would be better those. The other one that I used before this was in my empties a couple of months ago. That was also a Lee Stafford one. So, you know, whichever was available I'd buy either of those but yeah love those products uh, and next for hair we've got this dry shampoo from living proof this is amazing so dry shampoo I've said this so many times before this has been in my empties before quite a few times um I used to always just get Batiste you know it's cheap does the job but then I tried this like I've I don't think I've actually purchased one of these yet it's just been in advent calendars beauty boxes you know limited edition stuff so I've not got around to buying it but this is amazing so this says it actually cleans hair eliminates oil sweat and odor and i think it actually does so whereas when you spray like regular dry shampoo onto your hair you kind of get that like a white or gray kind of powdery mist and you have to rub it in and sometimes it just makes your hair look a bit lighter where it all kind of collects this doesn't do that like this you spray it on your hair uh leave it a little bit and then just kind of i just like massage it in <laughs> try and get it like in there and it doesn't leave any residue it just it's so good and i do feel like it cleans your hair and even like the next day your hair feels cleaner so if i was to put that in like now uh, i mean i've just washed my hair anyway but if i was to put this in now and like rub it in tomorrow it would feel so so clean so yeah it's like you get an extra day or two out of your hair it's so good it's a little bit more expensive than regular dry shampoo but when it does that i feel like you need to use less of it as well than a batiste so definitely recommend this one i'm, I'm keep looking at that because i've got another one there as well yeah that is my go-to at the moment for dry shampoos are really really good okay just random bits i've got um anatomicals mint hand sanitizer that was fine did the job it's mild minty uh when i got this in a rocker box in march i said that it smells like the dentist and it, yeah it really does it's definitely the mintiness but it, it, it's like a dentist smell it was fine it did the job hand sanitizer you know we all have that at the moment oh, i've got another hair product actually i missed this this is grow gorgeous balance shine enhancing overnight mask 30 ml this was just one use for me it says apply to the lengths of dry hair i put it everywhere but i mean my hair's quite long now so yeah this literally just did 
one use. So I'll put this on my dry hair, French plate my hair, went to sleep and then washed it out the next day and then shampooed and conditioned as normal. Um, really nice. I feel like my hair always feels so much softer the day after I've done a mask. Grow Gorgeous is a great hair brand. I love the smell, love their products. I just feel like they actually work and they make your hair feel great and just helps keep it stronger. So I don't know whether it is the combination of the shampoo and other products I'm using and masks and stuff that keeps it in such good condition but yeah like something's working so yeah I really like that I'd definitely get their masks again um I do use their hair growth serum as well which is also fab and I do feel like it works because my hair grows really really fast okay skincare the most exciting section for me first up we're going to go with the cleanser this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Bar this is the regular one, the yellow one. Obviously, it's empty, as you can see. Um, this is my favourite cleanser. Hands down, the best. It's so good. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see any in there. Like, the tiny remnants at the bottom. It's really hard to get out when I've got nails on. I'm like, I need to get my finger in there, but I can't really. I don't really want it, like, down my fingernail. Um, but, yeah, anyway, this is so good. So, this actually lasted me longer than I expected it to. Um, you basically need just about this much scoop it out rub it between your hands like this and then it literally just melts your makeup um and then i just wet my hands a little bit and just go back in and yeah you just kind of like work it into the skin um and then i use a damp cloth just to wipe it off damp face cloth and yeah that's my first cleanse and it just removes makeup so easily it's just fab it smells amazing my skin feels soft with it it's anti-aging and it just works um it is quite expensive it's 44 45 pound or something for this size this is the 100 grams but 100 percent would we buy this i've got some different cleansing balms to try from advent calendars next so i probably won't rebuy it just yet but when it comes to maybe black friday i'll just like stock up anyway just because this is the best um but yeah i've got the wishful cleansing balm i've got the pharmacy green clean cleansing balm uh, i've got those to try I've used the um, the green clean one before, but it's only a sample, so I'm looking forward to using the big one. I've also just got this one in advent calendar as well, the Amor of It's a Thermal Cleansing Balm, which sounds fab. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that one as well. Um, but yeah, I was using this as a first cleanse, and then as a second cleanse, I was using the Elements Pro Collagen Marine Cleanser, the tall blue blue one, uh, which was actually in an ASOS box, which is the best ASOS box ever. That product is £42 for the full size, and it was in like a 12 pound ASOS box, insane. So yeah, I was using this as first cleanse out of second cleanse and my skin just felt so good. And I don't know if it's just the combination of products I'm using at the moment, but I feel like when I've got no makeup on, my skin just looks so, so good. Like really hydrated, like quite tight and stuff at the moment. Um, so I don't know if it's just the combination of products that I'm using, or I don't know really. But yeah, it's just, just working. So I was using that first cleanse and second cleanse. Um, at night as well, I was also, I've been using the BioEffect EGF serum this tiny little bottle it's not quite empty this was in an often calendar i think it was this is so expensive like the full size is 130 pounds or something it's so so expensive it says for the improved appearance of skin so i don't know if it's that or the fact that after that i'm using the elemis pro collagen oxygenating night cream and obviously the pro collagen range is meant to actually make your skin look younger uh reduce fine lines and wrinkles and you're meant to see results within two weeks so i don't know if it's just a combination of all those things but yeah really enjoying this like skincare routine at the moment okay next skincare product we've got avant the controversial brand that people love or hate um i love this brand i just think the products are amazing i just think they're very expensive i'm not really sure why they're so expensive but yeah this is the collagen intense radiance activator serum 30 ml this was so nice. I'm also using at the moment the Nighttime Serum, one of them. Um, I so prefer this one. The Nighttime Serum is a lot like runnier. Like it's definitely more watery. But this one, it's just a nice serum consistency. It's age radiance, so it's obviously meant to be like anti-aging and stuff. I don't know if it did that. I just feel like it was really nice on my skin. I do like to have a serum in between my cleansing, exfoliating, toning, and then my moisturiser. And yeah, this was a really, really good one. I won't be rebuying this because it's so expensive. But if it's in a box, if I see it in a box, I'll buy the box. But if it's in it, really did enjoy this one. Okay, next we've got the Inculus Collagen Booster. All their products look the same, but yeah, this is what it is. This is 30 ml. I didn't really like this. I was using this as a serum, but it, this is like so liquidy. Like you pour it out and it's just like a pool of water. Um, so I found it really difficult to actually apply without it going everywhere. And I don't really think it did anything. So I don't know. Maybe this is one of those products where you have to use it long term to see results. But yeah, I just wouldn't 
pick that one again. I think I'd rather have an actual like serum consistency serum in my skincare routine rather than like a liquidy one. Next we've got a face mask from Generation Clay. Is that the brand? I think it is. Uh, the Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask, 50ml. This was in, I think it was a glossy box. I feel like it will have been a glossy box. I think that's the only place I've seen this. Um, I really like this brand. This uh, clay mask is so good. Um, so it's purple. You just pop it on and then let it dry. It says 10 minutes. I kept it on for like half an hour over time. Um, cause I like to pop these on in the bath. So yeah, but this was so good. Um, I just feel like it really like just clears my skin, make it feel brighter. I like to use sheet masks quite often, but then I also like to mix it up and also put some clay masks or mud masks in there as well. So if I was getting a clay mask, it'd be this one or the uh, Grace and Stella, I think it's called. Um, it was in one of my other empties, but yeah, it'd be either of those two because I just feel like they really, I don't know, just like clear my pores and just make it feel smooth and brighter. I think this is quite pricey. It says made in Australia. That's pretty cool. It says it refines, brightens, illuminates and nurtures the skin. But yeah, really like this one. So if this was in another box, I'd definitely pick that up. The other mask I've got is Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I don't know if it did that. This is like, it was like a silver mask. It's pretty cool to apply. So you can just see there on the end. That's what it looked like. So yeah, it was pretty cool to apply. Um, and then you meant to be able to just like peel it off. I just used a face cloth to get it off. It says you use it twice a week. Now, obviously this is quite a small sample, 15 grams. So I wasn't able to use it twice a week regularly to see if I could get the results. But I'd be open to trying this one again. Um, I've also tried another one from them where you just apply it to like your T-zone and like your, like this area. Um, and that's meant to just work to like clear your pores um, and just tighten them a little bit. And you only keep it on for like a couple of minutes. So I did really enjoy that one. Um, but again, this is another quite pricey brand. So you only get a small one when you get it in boxes. So I'd like to try it more, I think, before buying the full size one. I think there's definitely other masks that I would buy full size first. Um, but it was a pretty cool one to try. We've got from Dr. Botanicals, the Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. This smells so nice. So this is like a mix of essential oils. It's also got vitamins and botanical extracts for a brighter, even skin tone. Um, I like to apply this after I've done like a clay mask. So when my skin feels a little bit dry after I've taken it off, pop a bit of this on as well. Let it just soak in. And yeah, this was amazing. I do really like this. This was like, I think this was just in a beauty box and I didn't really think anything of it. And then when I looked it up online, it's like really expensive. So yeah, if it's in another box, I'd buy it again. But I have too many O's at the moment to buy one full price. It just smells so like tasty. I kind of want to eat it. Next, we've got a moisturizer from Dermalogica. This is the Intensive Moisture Balance. This was so good. I've been trying to try different moisturizers recently. And I've got to say this one is like one of the best ones I've tried, I think. It's quite a rich cream. It just like sinks into the skin and just disappears. It's just amazing. Um, Really, really nice. My skin felt so nourished. Um, it says it's an ultra nourishing moisturizer. It restores lipid balance to dry depleted skin for optimal barrier performance Now I won't say I have dry skin, but this didn't like it didn't make my skin look greasy It wasn't overly Moisturizing overly greasy. It was just a really good moisturizer. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one Um, I think I have a full size of this in my drawer maybe but yeah If not, I would definitely get this one again when I need another moisturizer I've definitely got a lot lined up to use first um, but yeah, I really recommend this one. Really nice. Especially good for winter as well, I'd say. And then we've got another Dermalogica product. And this is a mini SPF. So this is the Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30 Broad Spectrum. Uh, this is a physical sunscreen. Um, so it is white. But out of all the white sunscreens, like the physical sunscreen that I've tried, I think this is the best one. This one, it left a white cast immediately. As soon as you put it on, yes, it is white. But as you work it in, it just disappears. It's so good. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. Um, if I was going to pick up another physical sunscreen, this is it. This is so good. I do have two more of these miniature samples, so I'll use those first. Um, and then I'm also using at the moment the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Um, I've also got the Glow Screen. And I'm also trying out another one which I can't quite see right now. But so far, this is the best physical one. So it's a mineral sunscreen. Um, yeah, this is the best one so far. Really recommend this one. Dermalogica are like really impressing me right now. Um, Dermalogica do my favourite vitamin C serum as well. Um, that is the best by far. Love that one. Um, I'm also trialing at the moment the uh, Biolumin C Gel Moisturiser. This is really good. That'll be in my empties next month by the looks of it. But yeah, really, really good. Loving Dermalogica right now. Oh, and I also use their neck contour thing moisturiser as well. That's really good. Like it. Um, the next skincare product, last skincare product, is Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. 60 pads in here. 
these were great love these um, I do like to use chemical exfoliators my favorite my go-to is pixel glow tonic followed by the Ren AHA ready steady glow AHA tonic yeah that's it which I'm using at the moment as well um, but these are great absolutely love these they did the job the only thing I don't like is obviously they come in this plastic I think they need to think of like a different way to package them I don't know what that is right now but obviously once you've used them the pad goes in the bin which isn't great um, and then you're left with this plastic top don't really need it um, I'm using these reusable pads um, really like the actual product but yeah I just hope they bring a different form of this product out uh, which is a bit more environmentally friendly okay so skincare now body care uh, first of all we've got the Elemis Frangipani Monoi shower cream this is so nice I absolutely love this this smells divine I think it's the only word I can use to describe this it's so so good Mm, it's just amazing I, I, I can't describe that but if you smell this you'll know what I mean it's so nice um I got this and I also got the oil that's like a solid to oil when it heats up and this is just amazing it's so good yeah I got it for the scent really because I just love the scent but this is so nice it does linger on your skin the scent afterwards it's nourishing as well it's not stripping and it just makes your body smell amazing we'll definitely get this one again 10 out of 10 love this so much then we've got some moisturizers so we've got the white company spa restore luxury body balm geranium neroli and eucalyptus this one is really nice but i think it's a bit overpowering the scent i don't know if it's a eucalyptus kind of it's probably all three of those but i think the balm itself was great it soaks into the skin really really quickly and really easily and it really it's a really nourishing like your skin feels moisturized without being greasy you know without feeling like you've got a layer of moisturizer on you um so it does soak in and it's, it's really good in that sense but i think the scent is just a bit too overpowering for me for this one so yeah i think i prefer the seychelles one however these two are also empty as well uh the white company uh bath oil shop we've got calm and we've got sleep and the other one that i had in last month was the, the spa one um so the scent itself is amazing in the bath love it in the bath but just thinking a moisturizer just a bit too strong for me um but yeah these bath oil shop um so the sleep one is lavender and chamomile this smells like a pillow spray like a neon candle all the same kind of scents lavender and chamomile really nice really relaxing um and this calm one is angelica clary sage and cedarwood oil mm, i think this one's my favorite actually now with it being a bath oil shot i'm thinking do you do it like a shot and just pour it all in because it's not a lot so with one of them i did like half and used it over two baths with the other one i just poured it all in went all in um with it being oil i wasn't sure if it'd be bubbly but it seemed to bubble when i just used it on its own if these were in a set or in the advent calendar which they were so i've already got them now um, then yeah I would use them again but I don't think I go out my way to buy these um, especially because they're just one or two time uses or maybe more if I've done it wrong I don't know yeah I just feel like they're quite pricey for just one or two baths but it's a little bit of luxury it might be a nice gift for like a Christmas gift for someone and they do look nice in the bathroom but yeah once you've used that it's a glass bottle to recycle but yeah really nice and the last body product is my favourite Sol de Janeiro the Bombardier Bright Cream this is amazing love this mm so nice this is one of three different scents oh that just smells so good yeah so their main cream is the bum bum cream the yellow one which is hands down my favorite then they also have a blue one which is like the cocoa cabana i think it's called which is the coconutty one and then this one is i just say it's like a more perfumed holiday tropical cream moisturizer it's just so nice not only does this moisturizer like make your skin feel incredible it's a really rich moisturizer but the scent it stays on you until your next shower it's so good uh, it makes you feel like you're wearing perfume without actually wearing any perfume because this is just so strong and the smell is just so nice quite pricey but you don't actually need a lot because it does actually go further than you think even though like this tiny part you think oh that's not gonna last long it does it does last quite a while if you did want to try this it is on the feel unique pick and mix where you can go on you pay 11.95 and you can pick I think it's five or six products um and it is on there so if you wanted to try this this size is worth six pounds you can add one of those to your pick and mix bag and then four or five other products and you get to try it out i would definitely get this again uh we've got a full size in an advent calendar i've also got two full sizes of the bum bum cream in advent calendars this year as well so i'm getting my own little stash of bum bum creams and bomb dear bright creams and it's going to smell amazing for the foreseeable future okay we've got a makeup product and this is the tattoo liner from kat von d this was really good as far as eyeliners go this one and the one i'm using at the moment which is the natasha denona black eyeliner they're i'd say pretty much identical it has a really really nice tip so it's like a felt tip but it's like really really flexible 
so you can really like go over the eye shape um, on the contour and get your precise flick really like it it does say it's waterproof it's not waterproof in the slightest no I definitely cried when I wore this and did not stay let's put it that way um, this is the shade true for black it's really really black love this I would get this one again uh, the Natasha Denona I'd say is pretty pretty similar to it uh, that's what I'm using at the moment and I've also got a full size that in an outfit calendar but that Natasha Denona mini which is this size is also on the feel unique pick and mix so if you want to try that and this you can get them in one pick and mix bag and then other products as well so it's great to try them and then the final product is actually some nails so these are from elegant touch and these are my go-to for like stick on nails so they're basically empty but you know there's the odd nail in there so that's the bright pink ones if you look back on my videos maybe five videos before this six videos maybe and back a few bright pink it has some little gems on this finger those are these nails. Elegant Touch are my go-to for press on nails. So I do do my own like acrylics, but when I don't have time, which is most of the time now, um, I would just paint them. I'll just stick some of these on. These are Elegant Touch as well. These are so good. I just think they look really, really nice. Really easy to apply and they last ages. On the box it says it lasts up to 10 days of awesome. For me, they always last way more than 10 days. Yeah, and what I did with this one is so obviously they come in different sizes so if you get one pack of these you can probably find enough sizes to do one set and then you won't be able to find the same sizes again you have different sizes that don't fit but what i did instead of wasting ones that didn't fit i like, picked them out got them as close as i could to my nails and i filed them down um and then stuck them on so yeah i got two uses out of them because they weren't my exact fit on the second time because they were different shapes of nails they didn't last as long as the first set but I think it was still more than 10 days, so 10 out of 10 for these. I would definitely get these again. Not necessarily this colour. Um, I think this was in a PR set, so I didn't pick these, but I picked these ones. Yeah, I got some nudie kind of colours uh, recently. I shared them on my Instagram. Yeah, I really enjoyed those, but they're only like five, six pounds on like ASOS boots, maybe. Maybe Pretty Little Thing. Uh, so really affordable. So easy to apply. It takes me, what, 10 minutes max to choose them, file my nails, glue them, stick them on, done and yeah they last ages they're so good and if you wanted to if you're getting bored of the color you can even paint over them do your own nail art on them or whatever so yeah really like those definitely recommend those ones so guys those are my empties for october so a mix of skincare hair care makeup and body care yeah not as much as usual but like i said i'm moving on to a few full-size products at the moment so it's taking me a bit longer to get through those um but yeah i hope you found this useful definitely a few top products in here we've got the elemis shower cream which is my favorite the bomb Deep bright cream the elemis cleansing balm 10 out of 10 for all these products um things that i want to keen on the collagen booster from the inculus the spa body balm from the white company the tea scrub as well that was just a bit yeah. um so yeah i hope you found this video useful let me know if you tried any of these products in the comments down below let me know what you think of them and if you've got any more recommendations if you have any questions about these products let me know i'll try and answer them and yeah i'll try and link as many of these as i can in the description box if you do want to try any for yourself uh, then you can do it and i'll also link the feel unique pick and mix my video will have been linked up here at some point throughout this video so if you wait to watch that and see what i actually got which was this product in it um, but yeah, it's a great way to try them and because you can pick the products as well You know, you can pick what you want to try rather than just receiving a random beauty box So yeah, thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video Please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video